Hey everyone, something a bit different today. I just wanted to give you a very brief update video because there are a few things about the channel I'd like to cover. And this is probably the best way to let you all know. I'll also be doing a very, very short Q&A in this video just to cover some questions I get quite frequently in the comments. First of all, it feels like with every other video I make, I've got a hundred more subscribers. The channel's growing much faster than I ever thought it would, so I'd just like to say thank you for all the support and for the 500 subs I'm at currently. Next thing you know, I'll be saying thanks for a thousand, which is amazing. I'd also like to talk about my method for recording videos, but that ties into later questions, so I'll talk about that later. I've been getting quite a lot of messages and friend requests on Xbox, which is fine. I'm happy to accept and to message people. However, if you're trying to play a game with me uh, to increase your SR perhaps, uh, just be aware that I probably won't be able to do that because I've been getting quite a lot of those and it's very hard to play the game, increase my own SR and to record videos all at the same time. It's quite a lot to fit in, so I probably won't be able to play with you. Just keep that in mind, please. But please do ask questions through Xbox. I'm very, very happy to answer them. The last part of the update section is to do with my upload schedule. It's quite obvious that the schedule is not consistent, which I really want to work on. It was especially bad through late December, early January, because I was traveling for Christmas and then I had exams straight afterwards, so it was very hectic. Um, I'd like to upload once every other day, but sometimes this may not be possible, perhaps because, um, I don't know, the videos are more in-depth, such as the Genji guide I posted recently. Um, sometimes I might just miss a day, and then I'll try to upload the two days after that. And sometimes Twitch decides not to work, which is my main method of recording right now. So that's very helpful, Twitch. Thank you for that. Um, but overall, I try to upload around three times a week on average, but it may not always be that. So that's about it for the updates. We're going to go straight into the Q&A now. So let's get started. Question one, what controller do you use? I use a standard Xbox One controller. No accessories. It's not an elite. It's just completely normal. This is because I don't think you particularly need any of the accessories, such as Control Freaks. I think if you do enough practice and get the techniques right, you absolutely don't need it. I'm also very against keyboard and mouse. I don't use keyboard and mouse, and I completely disagree with it on a console platform. It's not right. It's cheating, basically. What is my button mapping slash controller setup? As many of you may know, I've got a video on that, so I will link that again in the description just in case you haven't seen it. One thing that isn't mentioned in the video is that I do use Claw for that setup. If you don't know what Claw is, you can find it online, it's quite easy to get used to, but it can be uncomfortable for some people. It's basically just holding your right hand awkwardly so you can move the analog stick and press all the buttons at the same time. But yeah, so you might want to adjust some buttons if you're not used to that. That's something that isn't mentioned in the video. What's your sensitivity? My sensitivity is 60 horizontal, 45 vertical for everyone. It used to be only for Genji and 50 horizontal, 35 vertical for everyone else. But recently I've just changed everything to the 60 horizontal, 45 vertical just for consistency. How to climb the ladder. I am doing a video on how to climb the ladder. And so if you want to know how to do that, just watch out for that one. It might be a while, but please be patient, I will do it. Um, it's There's so many things to go over, so I won't be able to fit it into a single comment. I want to do a whole video on it to do it in depth so I can show you properly. Why no team chat? I don't go into team chat because I use Twitch for recording. So I'll be streaming what I'm doing, and I would not want all the people in team chat to hear me commentating over my videos. Um, this one isn't so much of a question, but more of a remark I'm making on some of the comments that I'm getting. There are quite a lot of comments, kind of with a PC Master Race vibe, and I don't like that. It's quite arrogant. It's quite... there's a lot of kind of looking down on console players just because our tracking and aim isn't as precise. Um, I don't think that console players are brain dead. I think that it requires a different kind of skill and certainly some skill to play console. I don't think that 
someone very, very good on PC could just transfer to console because it's very, very easy. I think it requires a different kind of skill, and I don't think it's fair to kind of look down on console players just because they're on a different platform. So please try and keep that kind of abuse to a minimum. I think it's completely unfair to judge people based on what platform they're playing. You can still enjoy the game just depending on the platform you're using. Um, how do I record? As you may well know, and as I said earlier, I use Twitch to record. So every time I want to record something, I have to stream it. And then I export it straight to YouTube, which doesn't give me very many editing powers, which I'd like to change, obviously. If I can edit, I can make the videos better and more enjoyable for you guys to watch. I've ordered a capture card recently, which I hope will let me do this quite a lot better than Twitch. I won't have to stream every time I want to record. So I'm looking forward to that. It is on the way. So don't worry. Hopefully that should also sort out my upload schedule. So yeah, hopefully it's just a benefit for everyone. Uh, that is just about all of the common questions answered. And I hope I've given a lot of information. And so this is all in one place. Everyone can see it. And we won't have to answer questions that are the same in the comments over and over and over again. You could just come here. Um, if you thought this was helpful, then please leave a comment saying that I'd like you'd like me to do another Q and A, and leave a question. And if I get enough feedback, enough questions, I'll do a full-on video and hopefully answer th some things more specifically than how I've done today in a very brief, brief manner. Um, but thanks again for the support. It really means a lot. And thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.